Hi, everybody. Well, I was going to come back in one day, but it's actually been four days. Work has been extremely busy at the end of the year. So um, here we are back on the rust removal project. Now it's been a total of five days that these rusty brackets have been soaking in the uh, distilled white vinegar. It's a 5% uh, mixture, and we'll see what we get now that it's been five days. Okay, let's see if we've made any progress. You know, I've watched a number of uh, gentlemen do this on the internet and it seems to work really well. Now this is looking a lot better than it was the other day. And yeah, these parts are 95 years old, but now that I look at this, as you can see, the metal is becoming very clean now. And uh, I wanted to preserve these windshield mounting brackets because they're in such good condition and uh, the material and everything is good. It's just had all of this surface rust on it. So I gotta tell you, I'm really happy now with what I see. I was really disappointed the other day and uh, was kind of thinking maybe this is not really a good application, but uh, it's actually coming out really nice now. So why am I doing this? I'm trying to be able to utilize my time because I don't have that much of it. And um, if I can soak some brackets and pieces in the in vinegar or something like that, that will uh, help take this rust off, that saves me time. And time to me is, is really precious. Um, you know, I do my ministry, I have my job, I uh, have a lot of things going in my life. My wife and I, of course, together. And uh, so anything I can do that's gonna save me a little bit of time is really helpful to me. So that's, that's why I'm trying to do this. If I can throw a bucket of parts together and let the, something as cost effective as vinegar help me, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Right now, I'm very happy with what I see, even if I have to wait five days. Now, maybe it would have only been two days or three days, but I didn't have time to look. After five days, it's done a really nice job. So I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna to continue to do this with uh, some of the other parts that I, I need to uh, clean up, get in better shape. I have a really nice sandblaster over there. I've been thinking, you know, if this doesn't work, I got a sandblaster, I can get this stuff off. I'm sure I'll be using the sandblaster on different components, but uh, I'm gonna try something different, similar but different on the uh, frame. I guess what I'm saying is the vinegar works pretty good. You'll see in the before and after pictures in the video. There was a little paint on it. See some silver paint here. That I can just wire wheel off or something like that. The part I was concerned about was the rust. And wow, what a difference. What a difference. I went from being discouraged with the idea to encouraged again. Sometimes we have to be patient. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. I need to learn to be more patient and wait on the Lord. And maybe if I'm patient, he'll bless me more. That goes for all things in life, whether it's a hot rod or your marriage or um, your job or you name it. You have to be patient and wait on the Lord and trust in him with all of these things. You know, um, I know you didn't come to hear the gospel maybe with this particular video, but Jesus uses his blood to wash away our sins. And uh, that's why he came to the earth as a baby who lived a sinless life and, and gave his life on the cross because God demands perfection. And perfection had to be sacrificed in order for us to be able to have an eternity in heaven one day. And the blood of Christ is a lot like the vinegar in this uh, part here, getting the rust off. You know, when we first come to Christ, we might be a little rusty, a little dirty. We don't wait till we're clean and perfect to come to Christ because 
we're never going to be able to come to him because we're never going to be all cleaned up. We got to be cleaned up by him. This vinegar is kind of like the blood of Christ. It's taking something that's dirty and old and making it look like new again. And uh, But it took time. It took, uh, like I said, five days for this part to get to where it could be cleaned up getting rid of that rust and, and uh, stuff that were that was on it, that it was hindering it, that made it so it wasn't really useful for this build. But now that this rust has been cleaned, the part's looking pretty good and it's useful again. That's like us when we come to Christ. It's going to take a little more time for some of this stuff to come off. He doesn't make us seem perfect overnight, although in God the Father's eyes, we appear that way because of what Jesus did. See, he justifies us before the Father. So we are in the position of being righteous. But in our lives, we know that we have a lot of work to do and, and uh, things to change. And we've learned that by studying the Bible and truly trusting and believing that God can make a difference. And he does. We need to keep that in mind when we consider a relationship with God because you don't wake up the next morning after receiving Christ, feel like, oh, I'm never going to swear again. I'm never going to get mad again. I'm never going to yell at my wife again. I'm never going to do whatever it is wrong. It does take some time, but the change comes in the heart and the change comes from within. And after a while, the results begin to be shown on the outside of us. And that is when God is working within us. See if I got some scotch Sprite nearby. See if this paint will come off with a little scotch Sprite. No, nope, I'm gonna wire wheel it. It'll just take a minute. I'm telling you, this thing looks so much better. So much better. Wow, look at that. You can see there, there was a little corner of the part that stuck out of the uh, vinegar a little bit. And it, I mean, I. It, I think it was submerged partially, but it wasn't so submerged as much as the rest of it. And you can see that that rust is it's better, but it's still there a little bit. That's why we have to let God into every part of our lives. So even those little dark corners that we don't want to give up and help us, we just got to let them. You know, there's evidence that comes to us after a uh, while that shows us, wow, you know, the things that God promised me, he really does do. And we we decide I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop doing this thing that I really enjoy because I know he doesn't want me to do it. And next thing you know, we're cleaned up and we're we're acting different, we're talking different, we're responding different. We start looking like this bracket, all cleaned up like new. He really does make a change in our lives. It's Christmas time right now, Christmas 2023. Think about it. Did you ever accept Jesus Christ? You know, you've been celebrating Christmas your whole life, and it's been, maybe it's been for you about presents and parties and fun, and, and we do want to enjoy all those things and family celebrations and such. But, you know, there's a whole eternity out there that's real, and uh, I sure would like to see you in heaven. If you haven't accepted Christ, let him be the one who changes you. We're all going to have an eternity. It's something that we cannot escape. It is uh, something we all have to face. If you look at the world today, it's things are getting more and more out of control. If you look at lifestyles, the world's trying to say, hey, you can live any way you want. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about that Bible and God and, you know, sin. If it's not sin for you, it's not sin for you. Well, in the judgment, in the final days in the end we're going to find out that it's not our opinion that counts it's what we read in the bible that counts and it's what god wants for us that counts and when we do surrender our lives to him we find out that he was right all the time and we wonder why we didn't surrender ourselves to him sooner so don't don't wait any longer if you haven't accepted christ as your savior what this whole christmas season is about that Jesus Christ would come and be the Savior of the world and set us free from sin and from an eternity in hell to now where we can be a joint heir with Jesus Christ.
In other words, God is going to give us what he gives his son. We are all part of that inheritance. And the alternative to that is eternal damnation and suffering. You know, I, I, uh, I'm i not perfect by any means. I look at myself and I say, I still have some of this stuff that I, I need to get rid of. But God has changed me in a lot of ways and it made me more like this end of the part than this end of the part. And he's still working on these things and I still have to submit to him and say, God, I need to get rid of that and that and that. Please help me. Please, please guide me in ways that I can get this blemish out of my life. You know, you look at the inside of this bracket, it really looks good. I mean, it looks, it looks really, really good on the inside. When God looks at you after you receive Jesus Christ, that's how he sees you on the inside. But our outside also needs to be cleaned up. And that's the way we live our lives. So he can do the changing. We just have to be willing to let him change us. How's that for rust removal? It took five days to get it to this point. It's going to take some time for you and me to get to this point. It doesn't happen overnight. The forgiveness of sin does. It happens immediately. But the real change that comes following that takes time. Let's use that time to honor God. Let's use that time to let God bless us. Merry Christmas.